Hello friends, so we are moving to the next problem. The development of the lateral surface of a cone is a semicircle of diameter 100 mm. Inscribe the largest possible circle onto it and locate the point on the front and top views of the cone. This is the question. Okay. So it is given that the development is a semicircle, which means theta is equal to 180 degree. Then it is also given that the development is a semicircle of diameter 100 mm, which means if this is the development, this value is 100 mm, right? That means this value that is the radius is 50. So, what is that radius? In our formula, theta is equal to 360 into r by l, where this l is given as 50. So, theta is equal to 360 by r into l that is equal to 180 degree with this calculation we will get r is equal to 25 mm as l is 50. So, we have obtained r is 25. What is that r? It is the radius of the cone. So, the radius of the cone has been obtained as 25, right? So, with the 25 mm draw the top view of the uh, top view of the cone divide it into 8 equal parts and project so that we have obtained a dash to h dash and o1 dash. Now, height is not given for that cone. So, we have to draw the cone or we have to draw the front view of the cone, but height is not given. Rather, we have a, an another value. What is that? It is nothing but a L, slant edge, LA, length of slant edge. So, we have the axis with us. We have the initial point A dash. So, this will be our 50 if this is apex of the cone. So, keeping this point as center and a radius 50 intersect an arc so that we will get a point here and in that manner we can complete the cone. We can complete the front view of the cone. Okay? So, this is radius, uh, radius 25 project here so that we have obtained a dash. This distance is given as 50. So, keeping this as center intersect an arc on the axis line or axial line so that we have obtained the height of the cone and the front view is also has been constructed. So, now we have to draw the development. Okay. So, it is given that uh, the development is a semicircle of diameter 100 mm. So, draw a semicircle of diameter 100 mm and uh, divide it into 8 equal parts. So, the development is completed, right? And it is given in the question, in the question it is given that uh, inscribe the largest possible circle on that development. So, how can we inscribe the largest possible circle in this development? It is simple because for inscribing the largest possible circle, its diameter should be this one, this length. This length will be the uh, largest diameter of the circle that can be inscribed or this on this development. So, keeping this as a diameter of the circle, draw a circle. So, that we have obtained the largest possible circle on the development. Now, locate the intersection points. We can take this as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. As explained in the previous question, transfer all these 8 points in the front view. How can we transfer that? See, this is 5. So, this point will be 5. 5 means 5 dash. This is 6. So, take this distance, mark it on the true length and transfer to the generator through B. So, this will be 6 dash. Take this distance, mark here and transfer to the point on C. So, that will be 7 dash. Now, take this distance, mark it here, 7 dash will be coming somewhere here. This will be 8, transfer this to through the 
generator D. So, this will be 8 dash. Now, here it will be 1 because uh, 1 is lying on the uh, generator E. So, this will be 1. What about 2? 2 and 8 will be on the same distance. 8 is on the generator D and 2 is on the generator F. So, this will be 2 dash. This will be 3 dash. This will be 4 dash, again 5 dash. If you are starting with the 5 from 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7 dash, 7 dash to 8 dash, 8 dash to 1 dash, 1 dash to again 2 dash, 2 dash to 3 dash, 3 dash to 4 dash, 4 dash to 5 dash. So, we have obtained the development. Uh, we have obtained the front view of the path or the circle. Now, how can we obtain the top view? Simple transfer all the point this will be 1 this will be 2 and 8 8 will be somewhere here 8 2 will be actually actually this line will be like this so 2 will be this one then 6 and 4 this will be 6 this will be 4 5 this will be this point will be 5 what about the 7 dash and 3 dash transfer this to the this line draw a perpendicular rotate rotate so that this will be 3 and this will be 7 now we can connect all this 1 2 2 3 so 4 5 6 7 8 and again 1 so we have obtained a curve and this curve is called the cardioid okay you have you might have studied this in your uh, higher engineering mathematics so this curve is called a cardioid now complete the dimensions this is a diameter radius is 25 so diameter is 50 and this distance this distance with the help of this distance we marked right so this will be 50 then this dimension 100 that calculation you should have placed it in a calculation should be placed in a box okay so i hope all of you have understood this right the only difference is uh, it is given that the development is a semicircle so from that point since the development is a semicircle we can obtain the theta as 180 degree and the development is a semicircle of diameter 100 diameter 100 means that this distance will be 50 this distance is the actually this distance is the length of the flange edge of the cone so l is 50 so we know that theta is equal to 360 into r divided by l that is equal to 180 l is 50 with that value we obtained r so r is obtained as 25 so once you obtained r is a 25 draw the top view then draw the axial line keeping this point and take this distance if you intersect an arc you obtain the water and thus you can obtain the height once you obtain the height then you draw the development divide the development at an inclination of 180 degree divide it into 80 equal parts draw the maximum or largest possible circle inscribe on that so that we obtained different points 1 to 8 locate those points here and draw the corresponding top view here okay so i think all of you have understood this question Thank you.